Uh, good evening, uh, Basil. Just tell us, um, were you surprised that the matrix managed to do so well, even though uh, just over a five percentage point drop on the previous year? Good evening, Sally. Um, surprised because we, we expected a bigger drop, but pleased because, in fact, it is within the range that we, that we were hoping for. Uh, we never expected that we wouldn't have a drop, simply because that's unrealistic, given what the class of 2020 faced and the battles that they had to endure, and even the teachers. So, yes, we, we're quite comfortable with where we've landed. Tough time, of course, for teachers. They've really had to work incredibly hard this past year, dealing with such difficult, unexpected times, but also losing so many colleagues. And they have to do it all again this year. So what are the plans to make it easier this year? Sally, 2021 is going to be more difficult than 2020. I hope nobody thinks that 2020 is over and done and it's plain sailing. We don't know what the future holds. We hear about a third and a fourth wave. Secondly, of course, um, we have teachers with comorbidities, so there will be teacher absences. And then hopefully we won't have interruptions in the school year. But if we do, we're going to have to put greater shoulder to the wheel to make it work. And so teachers are already in there, uh, starting with extra lessons in the hope that we are not going to have this disruption. But just think for a moment about your grade 11 who that was at school for 50 percent of the year because they've had to have the alternating days they have large gaps some of those gaps are essential to be filled so that they have a better understanding of grade 12. but some of the lessons that we have learned we don't seem to have taken to heart i'm concerned that when we talk about things like online learning we haven't progressed really and I'm not talking about giving a tablet to every youngster. We know that's not possible. However, there are broadcasts that we can do to churches and temples and mosques so that when the current grade 11s are not at school, they can pick up at least on the core subjects. We need to be thinking differently. The challenge is going to be uh, on our teachers. And our teachers, unfortunately, are having an exceptionally long year. Besides the 200 school days, they've been at school some for three weeks and others for two weeks before school started. And we are worried about burnout and the psychosocial impact, uh, the, sorry, the psychological impact this is going to have on our teachers. Mm. We are really worried about their psychological health. Yeah, it's, it's really a long haul, isn't it? Something that you've um, mentioned in the immediate uh, release from NAPTOSA is that 15,000 candidates um, less enrolled for pure maths uh, this past year. And you're worried that a lot of children are opting to take maths lit instead of pure maths. Um, you mentioned that grade 11s uh, from last year, the matrix of this year, the, the class of 2021, has some big gaps in their learning because they didn't get to school as much as the older grade did the matric. Uh, grade from last year. So maths is one of those subjects that really needs so much input uh, from a teacher. Do you expect uh, a serious knock-on in terms of subjects like maths for the matrix of 2021? Absolutely, but I just want to break it up into two parts. First of all, we need to find out why more and more children are going into um, maths lit. I hope it's not gatekeeping. I hope it's not this uh, uh, unnatural uh, fixation we have with the results, wanting the best results in 100%. And as a result, more children are being shepherded into, uh, into to maths lit. That would be a tragedy because we need more maths uh, uh, graduates. We need it for the, for the child's own um, development and, and life chances, but also for the economy. Then secondly, of course, if you've had huge gaps in, in grade 11 in terms of maths, in terms of physics, in terms of English too, or, or, or languages, it is going to be a bigger battle. And so the quality of results starts suffering. And the child feels they are not coping. And that's one of those worst feelings that you can possibly have. And that is why we've got to think differently about supporting the core subjects 
in grade 11 in this year for 2022? And then, of course, how do we help solve the problem in 2021 for those that are there now? Fortunately, we're at the beginning of the year. We have time on our side, and heaven forbid that we don't have another wave that disrupts schooling. So our challenges are great, but we are really concerned as Naptoza, and we want to see what the cause, the root cause is of so many children. When you consider, Sally, that we have 74,000 more learners uh, that wrote the uh, grade 12 exam this year, and with that 74,000, you have a 15,000 drop. That's amazing. That says it is a huge number that have been shepherded into um, maths literacy. Mm. What is your understanding of when teachers are going to get the COVID-19 vaccine? Because that would take one worry or it would calm one worry for teachers going into, as you say, another difficult year. Absolutely. And I think, um, first of all, the attitudes amongst teachers have changed. Uh, in a survey that the unions have did, our second survey showed attitudinal change uh, about uh, taking uh, the, the jab, so to speak. But, of course, we are not certain exactly when this will happen, given the hiccup that we've had with the vaccine. However, we've asked that this go to Ned Lacken, that we, there is a greater discussion amongst Labour, and that is where it is headed, because I think um, all of us need greater certainty uh, when teachers, as uh, part of the front line, uh, needs to get it. Remember, Sally, if the teachers don't get uh, the, the vaccine sooner rather than later, it has the knock-on effect on, on the children and schooling. But greater than that, on the economy, mm. because schools can't uh, afford to close because it immediately impacts upon every mother and every father and every working person in the country. Well, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Basil Manuel, Executive Director of NAPTOSA, warning, of course, that this is going to be another tough year.